your only chance to evacuate is to leave with us. Chilling words from Marshall Applewhite, the leader of Heaven's Gate. Planet Earth about to be recycled. This is a family. His message is left on videotapes discovered by police when called to the San Diego area mansion. Not far behind, KTTV's reporter Al Nipo. This is what San Diego Sheriff's deputies walked into Wednesday afternoon, a mansion of mass suicide. Investigators released this haunting video of the purple cloth shrouded bodies of 39 mainly middle-aged men and women who reportedly killed themselves inside this sprawling estate in upscale Rancho Santa Fe. The news and the images inside were disturbing. But according to the group's website, which is still operating, it was the earth that was disturbed. The way they put it, the human weeds have taken over the garden and disturbed its usefulness beyond repair. Their earthling bodies were described as temporary vessels for their time on earth, but wouldn't be needed in the kingdom level above human. And making tapes for the public was a way to document their transformation for all mankind. I hope you have a chance to see it. And I hope for the sake of the evolutionary level above human that might be in you, that this might mean something to you and help you know a little bit of the truth. Thirty-nine people, including Marshall Applewhite, were found dead with recipes on them for the drug-laced cocktails they drank. It said, take the little package of pudding or applesauce and be, eat a couple of teaspoons to make room to put the medicine in and stir it. And then eat it quickly, drink this vodka mixture, which they apparently had mixed up, and then lay back and, and rest quietly. There were 21 women and 18 men. Police said some put bags over their heads to suffocate themselves and speed up death. And they each carried $5 bills and quarters in their little card with all their identification. Whatever, for whatever reason, I have no idea. The followers believe their futures were tied to the Hale-Bob comet that orbits Earth every 2,000 years. It was on its way. And they really believed that there was a spacecraft hiding in its tail to take them to a place they had only heard about in their classes. It's a warning sign for all of us. To psychiatrist Dr. Carol Lieberman, Applewhite had all the signs of someone with manic depressive illness or paranoid schizophrenia. But to his followers... He came at a time when it was just perfect for when people would tend to believe him. It was, I mean, particularly at the end when they all committed suicide because it was 1997, uh, the millennium was approaching, there were all these stories starting about gloom and doom, this is going to be the end of the world, everyone's going to die. It was also a time when there was a fascination with UFOs. See, it says Heaven's Gate Away Team, and that's exactly what that means to us. It was a UFO that was supposed to come and sweep them up to a better existence, which is why the followers, who also spoke publicly on tape, said things like this about leaving Earth in what were their exit statements. I've been looking for this for so long. There's just no way of describing how great it's been, how much we're looking forward to what's ahead for us now. Next level is very generous and fair. What is your sense of these people in these final exit interviews? For the most part, they were people who were lost. They were people who needed a direction. They were sad. They were alienated. There was people who just come from a divorce. There was some kind of traumatic life situation. And so they were looking for something to make sense. The members ranged in age from 26 to 72. Most were above 40. All had been given new names in order to disassociate themselves with the past. Police calling this a mass suicide, but their website saying they don't condone suicide. All were found with the same haircuts, same purple shrouds, the same shoes, and all believed they were going to a better place. So on March 26th... Now the time has come for us to leave this world and to return to the level of human as new beginners. Tape from Heaven's Gate. And as for Lieberman, she's glad KTTV still has its tape from that day. I hope that it serves as a warning to people to not fall victim 
to another Marshall Applewhite. So to us, it would be suicide to not leave. Another story from our KTTV archives. I'm Hal Eisner, Fox 11 News. And more on this, as we told you, that Heaven's Gate website is still up and running mm -hmm. even 20 years later. We even reached out to them, and surprisingly, someone got back in touch with us. That part of the story on Hal Eisner's newest What the Hal podcast, yes. True Crime Edition. I worked in San Diego for 16 years. It was right after this Heaven's Gate yeah. happened. And th there was one part of the story that Hal talked about, the $5 bills mm -hmm. and the quarters. No one knows for sure what that is. I've, mm -hmm. I've seen and read, in fact, there's a story he's reading right here. It says they were, uh, that was to make sure each member wasn't left stranded without money for transportation, whatever that means. Uh, that's that entire the whole story. Thing is bizarre. Because the whole thing yeah. is bizarre, but that particularly, I was like, why the $5 and the, wherever you're going, you probably don't need it. That was it. a thinking, huh? Yes. Wow. Right.